I want to stress some things. If you walk down the street and you see somebody has a jacket that you don't dig, don't come up to him and you start up a conversation about how bad that jacket is. If somebody teaches other people something and you're not one of the students and you are for some reason in the same classroom you don't budge in and say no this is not right that is not right this is right this is wrong the fact that I am on the web doesn't mean I am at your service doesn't mean that I depend on you you don't depend on me I don't depend on you some people say why don't you do this why don't you do that why don't you mind your business it's not a paid service I mean I am not paid Oh, but if you do that, you're not going to get many subscribers, many views. And what do I get? What do I get by many views? Just for the hell of it. If I have to win something, I have to change myself. I haven't won. Winning is getting the things you strive for. That's my understanding. You have to be at your service. I pander to a supposed audience of people. That's not what I'm looking for. That doesn't please me or satisfy me. Well, if I can get my ideas through or start an intelligent argument about something that's a fucking achievement but if you ask me uh, why don't you speak more about um, languages because I don't want to because I'm free because I don't get the right feedback maybe there's only one way I would change my purposes, my goals. If I say that, say that something I introduced to you started an intelligent debate. Okay? Until then, everything is fair game. I want to speak about this, I want to speak about that. It's my business. If you don't like it, you're free to go. Having 10 new subscribers or 20 more views does not change my life. So when people don't introduce themselves, don't say, I saw your channel, I checked out your channel, I like it. Uh, I'd like some more content on this or that. But if you don't introduce yourself, and you say, why should you say that you like my channel? Because if you don't like my channel, why should you ask for something? If you don't like the general tone, character of this channel. I see people, uh, can I ask the, the, the model, the, the brand of your instrument? No, I'm not showing you instruments and I forgot to mention the brand because when I compare recorders or other things, I always say the brand and the model. But that's another thing. If I play a musical instrument 
you should be interested in the music I play, not just the instrument. It's like you're watching a porn movie and you say, you know what, what condoms are they using? Who cares? It's an extreme example, but if I watch a movie where people play the trumpet, I'm, I'm focused on the, the music they are playing. It's easier to buy an instrument than to acquire all the knowledge and the ability to play the trumpet in that way. I've been achieving quite good results even if with medium level entry level instruments that doesn't mean oh no 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 you don't you only need um, cheap instruments no no better instruments but uh, the idea is first your ability and then the tools now is first the tools and then the ability you don't get ability from the tools but your ability make you use the tools in a better way and when you're good better tools that's the way I see it I've been attacked by YouTube for expressing my mind have you helped me did you say I, I told that did you say I'm gonna uh, share your videos more I'm gonna tell people to subscribe your channel to support you because we don't like when YouTube um, censor people. No, you mind it, your business. So get the fuck out of my channel if you were not of assistance the moment I needed it did I say did I make myself clear because I'm ex I'm doing this and I instead of being okay this person has guts and nuts to say some things and we know he is right we should support him. No, you don't. Okay. Your prerogative. But I don't you owe you any bloody thing. You do cannot ask for anything. You cannot demand anything. 